daring adventurer and extremely inventive conman Victor Lustig is considered one of the most famous criminals of the last century. He traded for 19 years in Europe and the United States, selling machines that duplicate money, was fond of gambling with the use of cheating techniques, was a counterfeiter and changed passports like gloves. Thanks to his ability to impress and the gift of persuasion, he sold the Eiffel Tower for scrap metal. Twice. How did he do it? We tell you in our story. Victor Lustig, the most famous of the criminal's aliases. During his life, he changed dozens of passports and had 47 names. In the documents of the American prison Alcatraz he is listed as Robert Miller. However, even now no one knows the true story of Lustig's origin. The only undeniable fact about Lustig's youth is that he spoke five languages, English, Czech, French, German and Italian. Lustig studied at the Sorbonne and early addicted to gambling. In 1910, Victor dropped out of school and went on a cruise. For several years, he spent scams on ocean liners, which were traveling from Europe to America. He systematically beat fellow travelers in gambling, not shying away from cheating techniques, conducted fake land deals, sold non-existent lotteries, and as a producer of Broadway musicals to raise money for their staging. But the main and most ambitious fraud Victor Lustig considered the sale of the Eiffel Tower. A daring plan ripened in his head in 1925, when he read a newspaper article about the difficulties of maintaining the main Parisian exhibit. At the time, the tower was considered the tallest structure in the world. It was built in 1889 on the eve of the World's Fair and was scheduled for demolition 20 years later. But in a few decades the exhibit got a practical application, the tower began to be used for telegraphic communication and radio broadcasting. Besides, young people liked it. But discussions about its demolition periodically arose in the press. For example, one article said that the metal tower was corroded, constantly rusting and costing the city more and more to maintain. It was also mentioned that the public was pushing for its demolition and sale for scrap metal. This was the basis of a clever fraudulent combination. Everything was done quite cleverly, Victor made fake documents and gathered a small concilium of industrialists engaged in ferrous metals. The swindler pretended to be a corrupt official, who for a substantial bribe is ready to pull off a scam and transfer the Eiffel Tower into the ownership of a private citizen. Victor chose the most insecure of the candidates, André Poisson, scheduled a private meeting with him, and the men agreed on a bribe of 70,000 francs. As you can imagine, the deception was uncovered very quickly, but Poisson was so depressed and ashamed of his stupidity that he did not report to the police. And Lustig was already spending his francs in Austria. Do you know what he did a year later? Exactly the same thing. He came to Paris, pretended to be a big official and sold the Eiffel Tower again. However, information about whether he got the money varies. Anyway, some of the industrialists suspected something wrong so the police were on Lustig's tail. However, he beat them to it and sailed to the States. Did you like the video? Give it a like and subscribe to the channel, there is a lot of interesting art and history ahead.